Shalom, Yah Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yahsha Allah. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakakwadash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith in the work. Shout out, keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more quoted precepts. Scripture, <laughs> scripture tells us uh, that the Most High loves those that love Him. And so many people don't love the Most High according to the scriptures. Love is keeping the word of the Most High because they don't love the word. And if you don't love the word, you don't love the most high. Alright? And there's a saying um, that we have in the truth that everybody a Christian until the scriptures come out. Once the scriptures come out, don't nobody care about you know the word no more because it's offensive. Alright? And once that the word comes out and it offends, that's really scripture um revealing the spirit that's in, in that person. Alright? Um, that scripture revealing that the individual that's um, hearing the word is a wicked individual. You're, you're wicked because you hate the Lord. Right? Esau Edom, which, who, who is the wicked, right? The proof that he is the wicked alongside, you know, actual uh, precepts that show you how the wicked would be, right, is his hatred for the truth, right? The devil's hatred for the word of the Most High reveals the devil, right? And how scripture says, ye are of your father, the devil, right? Um, that was Yahweh Shai speaking to Yasharama, right? Um, operating in wickedness. Right? And how, how you know you are a child of the Most High is if you operate in light. Right? According to, um, what's that? Uh, I think 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And that light being knowledge and wisdom. Right? Understanding. Also known as the Word and the Spirit that's in that Word. Right? But there's so many of the Most High's people. That could care less about the word. So about one second. Okay, so uh everybody claim to be a child of God, and the logic behind uh individuals calling themselves child or children of the most high is the most high creating people. But that does not make you a child of the most high. Being a child of the Most High entails you're, you're different than the world. It means that you operate according to his standard. It means that he chose you. You did not choose him. Right? Babylonian Christianity will have you believe that different individuals that, you know, are quote unquote saved and sanctified have chose to follow the Lord and put down their old life. And that's contrary to the scriptures. So it's really them telling on themselves that they are not children of the Most High. Now, just like in this world, you have individuals who have fathers, but they don't know their father, right? Um, it's the same way the majority of the Most High's people don't know our father, but they will in, uh, you know, um, when kingdom comes. But meantime, between time, they're not operating as the Most High's people, therefore... The Most High does not know them, right? Um, according to the Scriptures, because how you need, how you even know the Lord is by keeping His Word, right? Um, I believe that's First John two, right? So, um, individuals that say they love the Most High don't show that love. These individuals who say they are children of the Most High actually act like bastards, <laughs> right? Because Scripture gives you clear-cut definition on those things, 
right? So the same individuals that walk around saying, well, only God can judge me and God know my heart. And, you know what I'm saying? This, that, that, and the third. And God forgive me because, you know, I didn't, I believe and so forth and so on. You really don't know the Lord. And in fact, you hate the Lord. Right? You, matter, you hate the Lord and don't even know that you hate the Lord because you don't know his word. That's also why scripture says that you, the only way to get to the Father is through the Son. Right? Scripture speaks like that for a reason, man. Right? It's instructions. Clear cut um, instructions on how to be a child of, of the Most High. The qualifications of being a child of the Most High. Right? And um, signs to look for um, as it pertains to your father returning. So once again, just like in this world, when you were a child and your parents left for whatever reason, right? And you know when you when your parents leave, that's that's your opportunity to do whatever it is you you want to do. But depending on the spirit in you, it's a restraint. That won't allow you to just all the way wild out because you fear your parents, right? And your child, your parents are going to work, whatever. And when they return, um, it's a certain fear that comes over you to make sure everything's squared away. You probably received the instructions on what to do while they were gone. You know, clean the house, wash the dishes, take out the trash, feed the dog, clean your room, whatever. If you haven't done it by that time, you you already preparing yourself uh, for the punishment to come after that. So, same thing in this world. If you haven't done what thus says the Lord, leading up to the return of the Son, then you can already prepare yourself for the punishment to come, and that punishment is going to be something so severe, because thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, uh, you know, watch and pray. Blessed is he that when he comes so uh, comes, find so doing, right? Um, those are the individuals that love the Lord. The individuals that believe the word, follow the Lamb whithersoever he goes. Those are the individuals who love the Lord. Those are the individuals who know the Lord. But the individuals that's operating according to this world and following after the the world's doctrine of, of feel good, uh, basically, uh, uh, which basically is, you know, God loves you no matter what. God knows your heart, so forth and so on. You don't know the Lord and you don't love the Lord because when the word comes out, that shows you that your doctrine is contrary to the Lord. You get offended and you go to bat for the world, right? Even something as simple as, the, and when I say simple, I'm talking about the understanding of Esau Edom and how the, how the Lord views Esau Edom. It, it's simple work. The Lord hates Esau. Right? It's, it's so simple. It's, it's, it's throughout the scriptures that Esau Edom is the only nation that's not promised or I ain't going to say salvation. But it's the, not, it's the only um, nation that's not promised mercy from the Lord. Right, because the only the only nation that's promised salvation is Yasharala. But the the Lord says He's going to show mercy to the surrounding nations. Meaning, after Yasharala gets in power, right, and basically torments the earth for what they've done to the Most High's people for a, a thousand years, then they get to go back and live an awesome life. Because Scripture says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Alright? So the Most High is going to show mercy to all these other nations except for Esau Edom after that thousand years. They'll be totally wiped out. And it's so simple and plain in the scriptures. But these same individuals that say they know the Lord, same people that say they love the Lord, same people that say they love God, right? Bible thumpers. When them scriptures come out, they don't want to believe it. You can show it to them. Break it down. Showing precept upon precept upon precept upon precept. And they make all the excuses in the world that that ain't the truth. Because how can God create people just to destroy them? Because he's the most high. 
right? The scripture says his his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He does what he wants to do. You you can't do nothing but get in line or get left. Right? But either way it goes, man, everybody don't know the Lord and everybody don't love the Lord. And the proof that you don't love the Lord is you don't love the scriptures that's written in that word. You don't accept the scriptures that's in that word. And I'm talking about every part of those scriptures that's in that word. All right? Women more so. And you already know why. All right? One of the main reasons is because how uh, the order of the household. Women hate to hear these scriptures. But it's in the scriptures. And you claim to love the Lord. Claim to know the Lord. But when them scriptures come out, you get offended. Now, a righteous woman of the Lord, though she may be offended at, at the scriptures, will fight that offense with acceptance. Meaning you fight them spiritually just like them thoughts that enter into your head. You don't control the thoughts that enter into your head, but you control what your mouth um, says. Well, I, I ain't even. Gonna, I, I really can't even say that neither, because Scripture said the preparations in the in the heart of man and the answer of the tongue are from the Lord. But it's all on what type of spirit the Lord got inside of you that's going to accept or deny His word. How you can tell a person has a righteous spirit is when those negative thoughts enter, right? Whether it be for the word or whether it be for the thoughts that enter your head. Period. You rebuke them things and accept what's real. Right? The Lord's word is real. It is what it is. Right? And like I said, it's, it's not just uh, the woman's role in the household. It's, it's the Lord saying that women shouldn't teach. Women shouldn't have authority over a man. The average woman hates these scriptures. And I'm talking about the average woman that's in church. That goes to church every Sunday. Right? The average woman that goes to church every Sunday, the average woman who uh you know catch the holy holy ghost, the quote unquote holy ghost and do all that jibber jabber womp womp uh speech and uh you know the, the crazy dancing and all that. They swallow up and down, they feel with the Holy Spirit. Once the word come out, it shows uh the wickedness of these different women, bro. Men too. Scripture tells us that men should not be effeminate. But what type of man do we see operating in Babylonian Christianity? Some of the sweetest dudes on the planet, man. Dudes wouldn't hurt a fly, right? And a lot of a lot of a lot of the dudes uh, used to be like real men, but following the example of the men that operate in the church. Right? And the effeminate spirit that resides in that church, man. Right? That ain't that's 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 not uh kosher as it pertains to the Lord, man. Facts. Right? So at the end of the day, man, if you love the Lord. You're going to love his word. If you say you love the Lord and you don't love his word, you're a liar. And the truth ain't in you. All right? So, I end with that, man. Y'all by Shemir Al-Shah, uh, Ratazah, Lee's uh, quoted precepts in this video were edifying. Call Haloyim la Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Harakakodash Shalom Yahweh Allah.